Thank you, dear friends, dear visitors. When our founding fathers settled here in the Faroe Islands more than a thousand years ago, it was because they believed in a bright future and because they saw the importance of having both feet firmly planted in one central location. First, this saw was later become Toshan, which has been the gathering place in our country ever since. Today, the spotlight has turned to the North Atlantic region, and there is nothing more urgent than debating and finding solutions for future Arctic cooperation. A dynamic and solution-oriented dialogue between citizens and decision makers, between cities, politicians, and between businesses will be the source of a stronger Arctic region. Our region greatly values cooperating as equals on matters of shared interest. Therefore, let us use this forum and future forums to form a common position on key issues. Let us think about the increased worldwide interest in the Arctic region, and then think about who should be in the front position pushing the agenda in the forthcoming years. The Arctic area is vast, and it is in the interest in having a stake in the development of the region. The fact that the countries in the North Atlantic are in the Arctic region makes it clear that together we should lead the development and that we should bend the arch of the Arctic development towards our economies. This calls for cooperation. Compared with other international fora for cooperation, Faroese experts who participate in various fields of the Arctic consider that the commonalities shared with other Arctic countries a great advantage in Arctic cooperation. So let us collaborate and let us gain from both our geographical location and our similarities. When going for a stroll in Toshan these days, you will notice two projects that link directly to the development in the Arctic. We are extending our harbor with 95,000 square meters and new 900 meters K site. Last week, we opened at Schovenhuse, a newly restored office building in the harbor covering 7,000 square meters. The University of Faroe Islands has now moved some of its faculties into Schovenhuse. Together with maritime businesses and our house of innovation, the university will be the first time located by the sea and will also for the first time share a building with local businesses and startups. These two projects, Schovenhuse and the harbor extension, point directly towards the development of the Arctic region, as well as they meet a current need in the shipping industry and in higher education. One of our aims in Toshan City Council is to globalize our capital. This has been put on the political agenda and our citizens are now noticing that this is something that we are determined to follow up on in our political work. Toshan will be more visible outside the Faroe Islands and we will be present at more events in other countries and we will collaborate more with other cities, politicians and decision makers to change things. Our focus internationally is on tourism, sports as well as shipping and education. We need to establish more partnerships with other cities and our expanding university will play a key role in this development. We have often looked to Tromsø and Akureyrum because they have managed to grow their communities and businesses with a clear focus on higher education and research and development. I think that these cities have had a positive impact on the University of Faroe Islands. Therefore, I see a great opportunity in joint a collaboration with these cities along with other university cities in the region. We need scholars to carry out research and we need the universities to find solutions and suggestions for the future Arctic. Many topics need to be explored. We need research into increasing marine traffic in the Arctic region. We must also carry out scientific research in the different environmental issues and we need to prepare for closer cooperation in search and rescue. The Nordic region is the gateway to the Arctic. There is enormous interest in the region and the battle for the Arctic is ongoing. We need to stand together and support one another now and in the future. 
We all need scientific research in order to understand the ongoing changes in our region and to strengthen the, our, our ability to make the necessary adaptions. I think that the best way to do this is in an act of cooperation among the countries in the region. It might be easy to talk about cooperation when times are good and we are experiencing an economy that is going up all the time. However, as we all know, our economies will slow down again and that is when we really need to demonstrate for one another in this forum that we will continue to cooperate. The weather in the Faroe Islands change more often than the economy. However, if I am to draw a parallel, Winston Churchill once said, one always measures friendships by how they go, how they show up in bad weather. The unique location of the Faroe Islands firmly positions us to, in the center of the North Atlantic. This is a competitive advantage and at the same time a committing responsibility. A responsibility to collaborate and to welcome our neighboring cities and countries to be a part of this hub, be it in shipping and education. In Taoshan, we have developed and expanded our maritime services for some time now. And we are determined to continue going forward on this path. We aim to confidentially place the Faroe Islands and Taoshan on the chart of the North Atlantic and thus make the most out of our geographical location and our maritime expertise. We aim to use our increasing capacity to become the primary transit port of the North Atlantic. The ongoing harbor expansion work will enable us to make full use of our expertise and service in increasing demand in shipping and become a part of a rapidly growing industry. The Faroe Islands are located near the near shipping lane between Europe and Asia, the Norwest Passage, an exciting route which is expected to grow vastly in the near future. We are close on this passage and this creates obvious opportunities for developing and offering services and know-how to the increasing traffic in the North Atlantic and Arctic region. So the Faroe Islands and Toshan are in the center of the North Atlantic region and we wish to become a key player in the region. Thank you very much.